Hi, this is I, Justin, and is it just me, or does World's Funniest Fails use the exact same set as ridiculousness? Anyway, um, I, I figured you figured, I kind of like the fact that I'm starting off like this, my lower jaw almost removed, it's like, it's like I'm hiding my puppet strings, but, um, let me show you. This is what I would look. This is what I look like sitting on a mattress on a table, on a table of a certain height. And now here's what happens when I add this pillow under my shorts, denim shorts. See, that easy, better. Okay, I'm going to devote this to the Oscar pre Oscar nominations because the odd ceremony will start see on ABC if, or your ABC affiliate or whatever local affiliate you might have on the Pacific Coast and well the coverage starts at 2 p.m. don't ask me about E or pop or any other channel when they start but I know um, yeah starts at 2 p.m. here around here in channel 2 and the actual ceremony should start I think at 5:30, and should hopefully be over by 8 30 I look forward to Jimmy Kimmel at 10, because I know he's based on what I saw him do on when Will Arnett hosted a late late show. <laughs> and that was that was a brilliant silly hour turning one man's one night only as if it was his final episode ever. <laughs> um yeah, I have some idea, and of course I've heard that he posted some bit of his pre-taped segment with Eddie Redmayne. I, well, I saw the one with Eddie Redmayne acting on CBS Late Night, Late Show, but um, what's available on the Facebook page I haven't quite seen yet, but I'm, I'm believe I'm going to look forward to it. Um, probably inspired by Dick Van Dyke's performance of Mary Poppins. Anyway, um, here's my quick rundown. Okay, for Best Picture, I will point out as of now, I have seen, um, yeah, Birdman, Boyhood. Uh, yeah, I j actually just rented Birdman in Theory of Everything last week. I saw The Grand Budapest Hotel back in December, late December when it was on top 10 list. And I, of course, rented Boyhood in January. I actually saw The Imitation Game on Christmas Day, just after Into the Woods, when I was visiting family in Washington. I saw American Sniper last month. Okay, Theory of Everything is on the list. And, and I also saw Selma back in January in downtown Portland. But um, that means the only, movie I have not, the only movie for Best Picture I've not seen is Whiplash. And I know that comes out on DVD literally Tuesday, so I'm planning on renting that next week as well as Big Hero 6. So my pick is, well, my pick, I will, I'll be, so to be fair, because I haven't seen Whiplash, I can't say which of these is my favorite movie. I, I'm very desirable to want to actually see Birdman again. Um, I met the Grand Budapest Hotel, it was visually beautiful. Boyhood, I'm just fascinated in the fact that anybody would want to try and um, literally try a movie like this, and I'm glad Link later at least made sure that it wasn't 12 consecutive years or days or thousands, you know, like, it's not like he compiled thousands of hours of footage and decided, okay, we've got a great documentary here that Michael Apple would be proud of, considering he started up, he kind of did the 7-up, 12, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49-up series for those three sisters. Um, so yeah. I would definitely put some on my top ten list, and I'm, I mean, I haven't seen every single picture out there that was available in theaters last year, but I would definitely, at least so far, and I would like to say, you know, somewhere in my top ten list from last year's movies would be, um, in no particular order yet, Selma, Guardians of the Galaxy, and Kill the Messenger, but, um, <coughs> yeah, mm. I would, okay, I personally would pick Birdman, but the movie that I think is going to win the pit for best 
the Oscar for Best Picture is Boyhood. Um, therefore, um, I would also like to try and nominate Alejandro G. Inaratu for Birdman, but I'm afraid it's going to go to Richard Linklater for Boyhood because only because of if you know between these four men, um, between these five men that are nominated against each other. Richards had the longest pedigree, just like how, I mean, literally going all the way back to 1991 Slacker, um, you know, just like how Julianne Moore is nominated for Best Actress, she's up against two previous winners and two first-time and two first -time nominees. It's just finally her time. If, I mean, if we're going to say that about Julianne Moore, why not do, do the same for Richard Linklater? Um, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, my pick. And what's sad is I have not seen Still Alice, sadly. I did see Gone Girl when it was in theaters. I did also see Wild. I saw that in Portland. I saw Gone Girl in Salem. Uh, I was, and it was funny. This was back in November. And I was the only person in the theater to see Gone Girl. And, uh, and I, of course, went... Oh, actually, I should point out, I have not seen Two Days, One Night. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll get around to seeing Still Alice next week. I'm, okay. Um, but anyway, yeah, my pick is, my, yeah, I'm going to have to say my vote is Julianne Moore, and I know that's kind of unfair considering I just come from someone that hasn't seen Whiplash, but anyway, yeah, Julianne Moore, I guess what really matters as I speak is kind of more like who, who I think, who I believe will win the Oscar as opposed to my personal vote. Yeah, yeah so, Boyhood, Richard Linkletter, Julianne Moore. Uh, I should point out, I have not seen Foxcatcher. Um, yeah, my pick to win is going to be Michael Keaton by a feather. Um, for Best Sporting Actress, Patricia Arquette in Boyhood. Um, for Best Supporting Actor, it's going to be J.K. Simmons and Whiplash. Um, I guess I'm going to agree with all the other. Wait a minute. I guess I'm going to agree with every other. Um, with everything Entertainment Weekly picks because I'm. If I'm lucky, if if, if Entertainment Weekly's Matt choices are all correct, then I should hopefully, hopefully, win a Blu-ray player. We'll see. I'll be even stunned if I win some if I win something from live or free just I'm sorry from live and with Kelly and Michael, but um anyway just let me quickly go over the um, Oscar nom uh, yeah um I'm, I will admit for original song you really don't have to see the movie in order to grade the songs that are nominated but and I didn't listen to each of them on YouTube um I personally I I personally feel inclined that um. The Glenn Campbell song, I'm Not Gonna Miss You, is very sentimental enough. And, and I guess, but I guess, considering the fact that it won, uh, it somehow won a Grammy, is probably comforting enough, I guess. So, I'm, I'm afraid I'm, uh, yeah, I, I personally would have voted for I'm Not Gonna Miss You, but I believe the winner will be. Glory for, from Selma. Um, oh, speaking of which, does anybody hear the news that Kristen Stewart won? <laughs> um, I don't know. Yeah, she she became the first actress to be nominated for Best Supporting Actress at the... Um, the first American actress to be nominated for Best Supporting Actress at the Caesar Awards in France. And she won. Oh. Um. Let's see here. Um. Yeah. Um. Uh, 
Um, the best original screenplay. I did see Nightcrawler. I did rent that, and I found that disturbingly unethical. Um, and I'm happy that it won some honors for the Independent Spirit Awards yesterday or today. Um, yeah, I guess it's going to have to go to the Grand Budapest Hotel. Adapted screenplay. I have not seen Inherit Vice, but I guess it should go to the Imitation Game. For film editing, I, I can't believe Boyhood is... Well, let me see. For best animated film, I have not seen The Tale of the Princess K Kaguya or Song of the Sea. I did rent the box rows. I saw How to Train Your Dragon back when it was in theaters back in June. And I will look forward to renting Big Hero 6, and that's my pick to win. The best foreign film, saw none of the nominees, but from whatever thing I hear, from what I'm hearing, it's, it's going to have to go to Ida. Best documentary, I didn't see any of the nominees. I saw, I mean, I did see Life Itself, and I'm kind of bummed it didn't get a shot, but I'm going to have to go with Citizen Four. Best documentary, Sword Subject, didn't see any of the nominees, but from what I'm reading and seeing, it's got to go to Crisis Hotline, Veterans Press One. Best live action short film, um, didn't see any of them, but I'll pick Boogaloo and Graham for best animated short film, Feast, didn't see any of them, sorry Salem Cinema, uh, for best original score, um, I did, n I did see Interstellar, but I have not seen Mr. Turner, and I guess it's going to have to go to the theory of everything, hmm, although I would have preferred it gone to go on girl, I could, but I, I guess Trenton Reznor already has that award. Uh, yeah, I mentioned, yeah, I covered Best Original Song, for Best Sound Editing, I have, n I should point out, I have not seen Unbroken or The Hobbit and, or The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies, so, um, let's see, yeah, yeah, American Sniper, yeah, for Best Sound Mixing, um, yeah, Whiplash, what the hell, for Best Production Design, ooh, Best production design again. Yeah, the Grand Budapest Hotel. Yeah, you know, it was visually, it was visually delicious. Best cinematography. I want to say Birdman, and I will. To Emmanuel Lubezki. Sorry, Dick Poop. Uh, <laughs> for best makeup and hairstyling. Yeah, I guess it's gonna have to go to Foxcatcher. Mm. Yeah. And um, best costume design, I did see Maleficent, I did rent that, but I believe it's going to go yet again to, um, oh yeah, maybe it, maybe we'll go to Grand Prix Hotel, it could go to End of the Woods, but I, I'm going to lean towards GBH. <laughs> uh, for film editing, um, I guess Boyhood, yet I'm kind of mystified over that because it says, I mean, for a movie that took 12 years, that it wasn't so much 12 years to film, it took 12 years to wait to get made, just production-wise, and when it comes to the, when you consider that, the fact that they only shot literally, for every year, they it only took about a week to shoot each year, it, because you're basically watching a week in the life of every year of, of a somebody growing up from 6 to 18, editing could have, should have, really was that easy. I mean, it's not like we're watching them transition the same way I saw it in Birdman from, from a video clip air, airplane on somebody's smartphone or tablet and then it transitions over to, okay, that editing was mainly seamless, but come on now, that is a smooth transition. So I guess the best editing is the ones you don't see. I forget. And for best visual effects, you know what? Um, I did rent. I did see Interstellar, as I pointed out, when it's in theaters, and I did see Captain America: Winter Soldier last month on cable. I did rent. Um, it's funny with X Men: Days of Future Past and Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. I didn't rent them until I saw the first prequels, which of course are Rise of the Planet of the Apes and X Men: First Class. So then I basically got all those four movies done in the amount of time, and I'm going to have to give it to. Um, well, let me just say, is there anything scarier than seeing an, a monkey on a horse with two guns in their hands or palms? 